Hello and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It is Thursday, March the 28th of 2024, Maundy Thursday. Our opening involves these questions. In what ways is it hard to put others before yourself? In what ways does this come easily? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, who did empty yourself of your eternal glory and became a little child for love of us, empty us wholly of ourselves that we may love you truly as you love us infinitely and serve you faithfully for your love and mercy's sake. Amen. Our first scripture reading this evening is from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, reading verses 1 to 17 and then verses 21 to 35. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already decided that Judas, <clears throat> son of Simon Iscariot, would betray Jesus. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from supper, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and had put on his robe and had reclined again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, Slaves are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining close to his heart. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Now, no one knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this... Everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. 
and reading from the letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, assuming human likeness. And being found in appearance as a human, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him even more highly and gave him the name that is above every other name, so that at the name given to Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. <clears throat> this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sometimes people get the wrong impression of humility and have a false humility that is neither honest nor allows you to fully live into God's gifts. True humility is about position, choosing a different position than you are warranted. It is not about downplaying your talents and gifts. It is a common saying that humility is not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. Humility is about an orientation towards God and others. God's choice to become one of us is the ultimate act of humility. Jesus continues to think of others rather than only of himself. On the night before he died, he washed his disciples' feet as one last act of humble love, stooping beneath his friends, touching the dirtiest part of them to show love. When Jesus shows humility in washing the feet of his disciples, he is choosing the position that servants take rather than his position of honor as rabbi or his position as God's self. Jesus calls us into this act of humility in consistently putting others before ourselves. Let us pray. O oh God, when I have food, help me to remember the hungry. When I have work, help me to remember the jobless. When I have a home, help me to remember those who have no home at all. When I am without pain, help me to remember those who suffer. And remembering, Help me to destroy my complacency. Bestir my compassion and be concerned enough to help, by word and deed, those who cry out for what we take for granted. Amen. Our blessing is adapted from that which is included in this evening's uh, devotion from the Presbyterian Church in Canada. May we have too deep a sense of humor to be proud. May we know our absurdity before we act absurdly. May we realize that when we are humble, we are most human, most truthful, and most worthy of the Lord's serious consideration. Amen. Good night. <laughs>